Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate uh, different methods for uh, representing wireless signals uh, inside of Visio, and in this case specifically uh, on a schematic view page inside of Visio. So uh, first things first, let's pull over some products, and I'll just go here to the project uh, editor, and we'll select some items, drag them over, and then we'll organize these on the page. So we'll go in here, we'll go ahead, we've got a a router there and so we'll take a, a wire here and make the connection from there to this device over here and this is the device or these two devices are where we're going to want to represent the wireless uh, signal and uh, on this particular device I've already added um, an input for the Wi-Fi signal and I haven't yet done that on the output for this uh, device here so I'm going to show you how to do that um, just double click the product it's going to open this up, go to the IOs tab, and here I'm just going to go ahead and enter in a new uh, output for this device. We'll go ahead and save that, and we'll uh, update those to the catalog so for future use. And now we have connection points on these two schematic shapes that we can make a connection between. One method for this would be to use the connector tool in Visio. If you click on this uh, connector tool, you can then um, when you get close to an item, click your left mouse button, drag over, and then make a connection on the other device and let go, and it will go ahead and draw um, a connector between the two. Go back to your pointer tool here, and uh, you can double click the wire here, and um, you can type what type of signal this is if you want to represent that. Um, then. Uh, while the connector is selected, you can go up and change your line options. You can change the color to whatever you want it to be. Um, this time I'll make it orange. Uh, and then to represent that it's a wireless signal, um, you can change the pattern if you'd like. So rather than have a solid line like we do with the wire over here, we could do something like this and put dashed lines. And of course, if you want to put arrows on the ends, you certainly can. Any one of these line options will apply to that connector. So um, your choice on what you want to do, if you want to make the line thicker or thinner, uh, totally up to you. But that's one way to represent a uh, wireless signal. I'll go ahead and delete this one uh, and show you a second method would be to use the line connector shape that uh, we've provided from Dtools. That's over here. If you go to your shapes tab and go to your wire shape stencil, there's a line connector uh, shape in here. And this is not connected to products in your database. So when you drag this over, uh, all you're going to be prompted for is the type, which is actually the subcategory field. So you're going to need to add uh, a subcategory uh, for each one of these wireless signals that you want to represent, whether it's Wi-Fi or if it's Bluetooth. So uh, if you scroll down here in the list, I've already added Wi-Fi, and we'll select that. And all this will do is just put the text directly on the line for you automatically. Then just drag it over and make your connection. So we'll take this, make the connection. There we go. And then, of course, um, if you want to change your line, this time you know, I'll make it uh, purple and I'll make it uh, dotted. And so that can represent um, a wireless signal as well if you want to use that with the text already uh, displaying on there. Two very similar methods, uh, neither of which would be accounted for on any wiring reports. So if uh, wiring reports are important for you that these signals show up on those uh, particular reports, you're going to actually have to create a fake wire in your database. Uh, and when I say fake wire, you know, one with no pricing, um, no labor on that. It's essentially just a, a Wi-Fi signal. And use one of the actual wire shapes. In this case, it would be the finish wire shape uh, that would be associated with the line. Make your connections, and then those will report uh, back to the wire reports. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. First, I'll go ahead and delete this off of the page here and go to the project editor. And we're going to actually, again, have to add that fake wire to the project. So uh, you'll have to pick your location where you want to add the wireless signal, either to its source or its destination. Uh, that'll be up to you. Uh, this time, I guess I'll just leave it uh, in the source, the home office here. And we'll pull over the catalog here. And if we scroll down this list, this is what I've created here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to the page, and then I'll double click it to show you. Uh, what this is, but let's go ahead and take a look at this fake wire. Um, I just set this up. It's category wire and cable, model number Wi-Fi, subcategories Wi-Fi, um, and there's no pricing on this. That's a key thing. No pricing, no labor. Um, it's not real, but it's here uh, and it will uh, be represented 
with a wire shape on this page. Uh, once again, for reporting purposes, mainly the wire reports. Uh, keep in mind, this will show up on other reports as well unless you filter uh, these particular wires out. So uh, be consistent in your naming so you can do a quick filter and get those out of the way if you don't want to see them say on a proposal. But um, if for some reason you wanted this uh, on a wiring report, um, you'll notice that it is listed with a component ID here. You know, every product gets a component ID when it's added to a project. Uh, of course, our wires do too, uh, actual wires, but so will this signal. And um, that's what's going to show up on, the, on the, again, those wiring reports. So just simply then make your connections here. We'll do that. And uh, just to show you, we'll add another one here too. We'll go here. Um, let's first pull over another one of these um, speakers here. And we'll also go ahead and pull over another uh, signal here. I think we'll do it from the source. Uh, location, drag another one in. You'll notice that it's given a different number. This is 002. It's going to keep counting up for you. Uh, then, you know, make your connection here, drag this end down, and of course you can rearrange these any way you want. Um, and of course, change your pattern. If you want to represent wireless signals uh, with a dashed line or a dotted line, come here and do that. We'll go ahead and make it uh, dotted, and then we'll make this bottom one dotted as well. And uh, of course, change the color if you feel like doing that. Uh, now, one thing you might notice is that this label uh, here for the second wire added is overlapping the original label. So a nice little feature there is uh, we can select both of these wires here and uh, go over to our shape data and choose where we want the text to display. In this case, I'm just going to say show end text only. So we'll not worry about this end. And you'll see here now you've got the 001, the 002 showing. And um, now if you run a wire report, like a wire connections report, uh, these will display on that report. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you right now. Go to the project editor here, go to reports, installation reports, and we'll just run a simple wire connections report. And we'll expand this full screen. And you can see now, uh, if we zoom in just a little bit here, that the wireless connections are displaying on this report now. And there's even the quote unquote wire number for those. So if you do want to display on reports, make a fake wire so you, it actually uses wire shapes. If not, uh, feel free to use the connector tool or the line connector shape provided by DTools.